Welcome, middle schoolers, to the presentation of your Mod Heart Loveless 2021 nominees. We have 10 feature titles that I'll be going through, and if you would like to vote, you need to read at least three of them by March 31st. In Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus, Ava Green loves to tell people that she lost her arms in an alligator wrestling match or a wildfire in Tanzania. But the truth is, she was born without them. And when her parents take a job running Stagecoach Pass, a rundown western theme park in Arizona, Avon moves with them across the country knowing that she'll have to answer the question over and over again. In Macy McMillan and the Rainbow Goddess, Sixth grade is coming to an end, and so is life as Macy McMillan knows it. Already, a for sale sign mars the front lawn of her house. Soon, her mother will remarry, and they will move across the city with their stepfather and twin sisters. Just when Macy's mother ought to be understanding, she sends her next door to help the 86-year-old lady get ready to move, but she doesn't know sign language. In resistance, Chaya Linder is a teenager living in Nazi-occupied Poland. Simply being Jewish places her in danger of being killed or sent to the camps. After her little sister is taken away and her younger brother disappears, her parents all but give up hope. Chaya is determined to make a difference. Using forged papers and her fair features, Chaya becomes a courier and travels between the Jewish ghettos of Poland, smuggling food, papers, and even people. In New Kid, 7th grader Jordan Banks loves nothing more than drawing cartoons about his life. But instead of sending him to the art school of his dreams, his parents enroll him in a prestigious private school known for its academics, where Jordan is one of the few kids of color in his entire grade. As he makes his daily trip from his home in Washington Heights to the upscale Riverdale Academy, Jordan finds himself torn between two worlds. In Float, Emerson can float. He just can't do it very well. The government sends him to a mandated summer camp for risk kids just like him. He's so shocked when he actually starts having fun at camp and he even makes some new friends. But it's not all canoeing and capture the flag at Camp Outlier. The summer takes a serious turn when Emerson and his friends discover that one of their own is hiding a deadly secret. In Posted, Words aren't just words. They can also be weapons or gifts. The right words can win you friends or make you enemies. They can also come back to haunt you. Sometimes they can change things forever. When cell phones are banned at Branton Middle School, Frost and his friends come up with a new way to communicate, leaving sticky notes for each other around the school. But this eventually leads to a war of words. In Restart, Chase's memory just went out the window. He doesn't remember falling off the roof or hitting his head. He doesn't, in fact, remember anything. He wakes up in a hospital room and has no idea who he is. When he gets back to school, he sees that different kids have very different reactions to his return. Some treat him like a hero. Some are clearly afraid of him. Pretty soon, it's not only a question of who Chase is, the question is who he was and who he's going to be. In The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle, Mason Buttle is the biggest, sweetest kid in his grade. Everyone knows he can barely read and write, and his learning disabilities are compounded with grief. His best friend, Benny, turns up dead in the Buttle family's orchard. As the investigation drags on, Mason has information, but nobody will let him help. When his friend Calvin goes missing, Mason is determined to help solve the mystery. In Spirit Hunters, Harper doesn't trust her new home from the moment she steps inside, and the rumors are that the Rain family's new house is haunted. Harper isn't sure she believes those rumors until her younger brother Michael starts acting strangely. The whole atmosphere gives Harper a sense of deja vu, but she can't remember why. She knows that the memories she's blocking will help her make sense of her brother's behavior and the strange threatening sensation she feels in the house. In the bridge home, Life is harsh on the teeming streets of Chennai, India. So when runaway sisters Fiji and Ruku arrive, their prospects look grim. Fortunately, the two girls find shelter and friendship on an abandoned bridge that's also the hideout of Muthi and Arul, two homeless boys. While making their living scavenging the city's trash heaps, 
It's not very exciting, but the kids find plenty to take pride in too. They are now the bosses of their own lives. There you have it. There are the 10 nominees for the 2021 Mod Heart Loveless Awards. Just a reminder, you have until the end of March to read three or more of the titles. When you're ready to vote, either email Mrs. Bellum your choice or drop off your green bookmark with the winner circled and your name on the top. Happy reading!